I did it. I finally did it, man. Yeah. The day has come. My holy grail of sneakers. I finally got my hands on them. You see this t-shirt? Who's that? You peeping it? Ah. I think you know who it is. I get it. Let's go. What's, What's up, C-Squad? It's Nigel C. And Daddy C. Of Dad and Son. Kicks and Cooking. And we're back today to talk about what? Today, we are talking about the Nike Kobe 6 Pro Tro Grinch. Yeah. Some people call it the Green Apple when it came out this last year. December 24th, right? It was Christmas release. Right. But no, I always go with the Grinch, man. That yeah. shoe was the Grinch. Something I've been waiting for, wanting to get my hands on for a long time. After I, this whole... I know, you've been talking about it forever. I have. This year, what's, what's it called? Your, my grail, man. Your holy grail. My holy grail of sneakers. <laughs> Maybe in my head, like, the best basketball sneaker ever made. But we gonna talk about it. I've seen a lot of basketball <laughs> shoes, man. But yeah. this one, I just love the design. It changed the game when it came out in that edition. Yeah. The colorway and everything else. But let's get right into it. Right, let's see it. All right. Oh, and you got it now. I didn't get that oh, at first. You, you didn't know I got it. Yes. Oh, all right. Uh -oh. Shout out to my friend that helped me get my hands on this shoe without having to sacrifice my firstborn. <laughs> you know, sorry, Nigel. I didn't okay. have to give you away, you yes. know, to get my hands on the shoe. But you wouldn't have anyways, right? No, of course not. But the shoe wow. has been that is, gotten. That is nice. Look at that thing wow. of beauty, man. <laughs> that is a mm. beautiful Indeed shoe. Indeed it is. Oh. <laughs> It gave me all kinds of warm and fuzzies when I got my hands on this shoe for the first time. Look at that. You peeping that? I'm peeping it. You know, of course, every time we get a new shoe, I have to test the smell. Oh, yeah. And let me tell you, the shoes have a valid smell. <laughs> that good new shoe good. smell. Uh huh. The and colorway this. on this thing. Look at the pattern on it. Like, this is like, yep. literally, I don't even know what it is. It just feels so good. It's weird. It's so different. It's the Black Mamba. So, right. when they released this shoe, they called oh. these, this texture, they called it like islands. Okay. No, I call them scales because it's yeah. more reminiscent of like a, a snake, right? right. Snake skin, the yeah. black mamba. <laughs> and the color of it is like that mamba snake. There's a snake that actually has that kind of gradient mm. yellow to greenish kind of color that looks like that. Interesting. But the shoe itself, man. Oh, beautiful. The, the beauty bottom. of it. Yeah, look at this clear green thing that you actually like, the plastic green that yeah. you have at the back and on the bottom right here. Oh, yeah. The translucent. Right. Man, I can't wait to rate this shoe. Squad, if you think it's gonna rate this shoe a 10, then subscribe right now. You know what would be cool for this? What's if you that? could like, okay, so you called it what? The green apple, right? Yep. Imagine it smelled like a green apple. That would be tough. Or That'd like be maybe slick. a green Jolly Rancher. Mm. That would be tough. It's kind of like the color of like a green Jolly Rancher right. a little bit, That'd right? That'd be hard. Yeah. It's, I mean, it smells good, but that candy smell would put like an extra little, a little more spice on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got you. That'd be cool. Walking around on my feet smelling like candy. Yeah. It sounds great to me, huh? Oh yeah, Nike. Hey, I know you heard that just now. That's another free tip for you guys you can you can have that there you go you're welcome right make your shoes smell like candy mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's talk about the breakdown of the shoe right yes the makeup of it so on the, the upper you got this really breathable tongue area yeah that has like a waffle kind of i don't even know what you call that in the middle like a mesh yeah the mesh over that tongue section and then you got the actual tongue with the mamba logo the textile top itself is i don't even know that's just a different <laughs> kind of material you know it's not leather but this is something that you can play ball in obviously yeah. for kobe yeah you know r.i.p first of all let me back that up mm -hmm. the mamba all right, so anyway, the top section here, the upper, the material here, it has the fly wire in it that you can't even really tell if yeah. you look deep into the shoe there. How are you bending the shoe like that? Hey, man, the good thing about this is not gonna rip or tear anything. Oh. This shoe is made for performance. So if I just take your shoe and I just like fold it all up and everything, you're not gonna We're not that. gonna do that. We're not gonna oh. do that. I'm just trying to show fly wire. So what the fly <laughs> wire technology is, <clears throat> is a technology that Nike actually put out specifically for the Kobe's back in the day. And it's wires that run where on the inside of the laces all the way down the shoe. Yeah. So then when you put the shoe on and you lace it up, it basically wraps your whole foot, right? Oh. Yeah, that fly wire That's encases cool. the whole foot. If you look really close on the outside, I mean, you gotta look really, really close, you can kind of see the wire on the, you know, the wires going down from uh, the laces. But also with the shoe. So you got that, you got the shiny swoosh. Yeah. But on the heel, you got this heel counter here. That's a, a cage mm -hmm. that, you know, typically you would see that whole thing encased, but they cut 
cut it out to make it more light. Yeah. So that's something that they did, you know, obviously for Kobe. So the shoe is very light. It is. Right? Uh -huh. And the great thing about Pro Tros is that that was actually a concept that Kobe wanted and that he worked on with Nike for his shoes. So yeah. they were talking about re-releasing some of the older models, right? He didn't want to just release them the way that they came out back in. Like this shoe was from 2010. Old technology, yeah, right? Shoe technology has changed. So for the Pro Tro, uh -huh. it's a retro, but it's been improved for performance. So they added ah. additional enhancements to that old model shoe yeah. to make it a better shoe to ball in. That's cool. Yeah, so you see how so it says- So there's like an old version of the Grinch. Right. right. So this is the new version that you have? This is the Pro Tro. That's cool. Yeah, so the old version had the zoom cushioning just in the back, which is kind of like the, yeah. it's a patented, you know, the air bubble technology in the shoe. Yeah. But in the Pro Tro, it's also in the front of the shoe, not just the back. And again, that was strictly on Kobe. He wanted to do it that way. Underneath, you got the translucent front part of the sole, and obviously the Mamba logo here. And you were talking about, we were looking at the insoles. Right, yeah. Take the tissue paper out real quick. Oh. You get it? And you can get I the, think. there we go. And if you can get out the insole. Oh. So this says. Oh, it's like a little poem here. Not poem, <laughs> <laughs> but it says, I. I want a shoe that molds to my foot. There you go. These insoles, you know, they look really basic and plain, but yeah. they're not the typical polyurethane rubber that goes in. These insoles they've used on, on other Kobe models in this range with the uh, the sixes, they actually do over time as you play in a mold to your foot. What? Yeah, so it starts to compress and your That's foot cool. fits right in there. <laughs> and that again, just a high performance, better performance wow. shoe. It's a whole process here, That's whole cool. thing. That's why, that's why you call it your holy grail. There's a lot of stuff here. I love this actually now. Nice, nice. All right, listen, listen, look. They're called the Grinch, right? So imagine the Grinch from the movie wearing these, playing some basketball. <laughs> playing basketball? Playing basketball, Grinch wearing the Grinch. He would definitely wear these. I mean, it's, yeah. it's perfect for his colors, exactly. right? Exactly, because it's literally his colors because literally. it's the Grinch. Boom. Exactly. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. I need to get your rating on these. You know yeah. where I am with Obviously. Them. My holy grail. But first, when we do that, let's get in the kitchen real quick. Yes. Get this food on, and then we'll get back to the shoe. All right. So we just unboxed some hot shoes. Now, sometimes you just got to unbox some fresh ordered in food. And my favorite is wings. And, and mine is without a doubt pizza. So I got some delicious Old Bay wings over here, which in the DMV is a classic. Got some multiple different sauces. Let's see, do I go barbecue, regular, buffalo? We got a hot honey. Oh, let me try the hot honey. No. Bye. We got pizza. Let me get that some pizza. Trade, let's make a trade, yes? My favorite is wings. <laughs> So here in the DMV, some of our favorite classics, we probably should really have some mambo sauce. That's a big thing here in the DC, Maryland area. Delicious. Or some crab cakes, but like I said, my favorite. Isn't that a Maryland thing? Yeah. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Ah. That good old blue crab. <laughs> should have some here. Right. Ah, you get I it? agree with you. <laughs> but dad, what? Um, you know, the viewers are probably expecting you to cook a meal, right? So here's what you should do. Go cook some wings. Let me eat yours. I uh, no. And like I said in the beginning, this is really just one of those nights where it's like, you don't want to get in the kitchen. So sometimes you got to ring up and order in. I'll figure it out. And you should be happy, man. You got your favorite. I know, I love it. I am very happy. Thank you for that. All right, I'm trying to get on my wings then. Oh, I won't. All right, so tell us where you're watching from and what foods are classic in your area. Yeah. And I say we get to this food, man, as we get back to these shoes. Yes, well, let's get to this food. What? All right, we're back and you said you wanted my rating on these shoes, right? Yes. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, obviously, you know what? I love these shoes, man. I gotta agree with you. I'm gonna have to give these shoes a slight 10 out of 10. Woo! These are, hey, these are some amazing shoes, man. I ain't even gonna lie. They these are, are man. And dad, what? obviously we know what your rating is. What's your rating on these shoes? Like 11 out of 10, 11, obviously. 15 out of 10. Obviously. Again, like I said, man, I think maybe, like maybe the best basketball shoe made. This shoe, it does everything. It's not made it of is, leather. No. You know, you don't have to worry about creasing, any of that kind of stuff. The shoe is just a performance shoe, but it's light. Color is next level. And I'm not one to wear green shoes, right. <laughs> but this shoe is so next level. I rock this all day long. Mm. And 
And if you're feeling festive, you can throw in the red laces and really get your Grinch look. Get your Christmas form. colors. Exactly, the red and green. That'd be tough. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, 10 out of 10 or 10. better on this Kobe Grinch. So glad I got it. Neat. If you guys like this shoe, let us know. Do you have a pair of the Grinches? Did you get the originals in 2010 or a pair of Pro Tros? Yeah. And what do you think? What's your rating, right? Is this high up your list? Let us know. Hey, C Squad, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank Watch you. another one right now, and we'll see you there. Peace. Peace.